on, let's go. Huge pot coming our way, chat. We're over a million chips, baby. Let's go. Oh, you hate having to risk it there. You just hate it. 128, 123 pay, five off the money. This is bubble gum felt, baby. Bubble time. Definitely been a ton of change at Party Poker um, in the poker room. Mike Sexton, uh, rest in peace, legend of the world. Uh, and then they pulled out of the U.S. because it was their position that they needed to. As we are, Redfeld hype in the money here, confirmed. Cash for 1,030. Uh, and fold to the pot size bet, I think is fine. Ace queen. I'll probably make some dot .fr, uh, some like FR channels. We're just going to call 10.66 of the flop. Uh, I think check back. 6x is like such a good card for them and that they have so many more sixes than us. So yeah, we check back with ace queen, turns a jack, they check, we check again. So 66,000 to win 33,000. We need them to not have a 10 or a 6 or a jack um, about 70% of the time, which is probably too much, I would say. So I will fold. All in with the ace queen of hearts. Beautiful hand. A double up here would take us to 400,000. And we just need a heart ace or queen. That's it. No seven. Or no six, no eight. Oh, six of hearts is fine. Let's go. Six of hearts is fine, baby. 390,000. Whoo. We got moments. Uh, call here. Line for spline. They raise, we call Flop is 10, 8, 7. Now we have a gutter. It's a bad gutter. Gutter to the bottom straight, but we also have a backdoor flush draw, and we also have ace high. And it's blind versus blind, which means both ranges are wide here. They check. I think we check. Don't think there's enough reason to bet for us with this hand. Maybe win? How sick would that be? Oh, against King Queen! Let's go! Let's absolutely go, Dottie. Come on. Let's go. Min raise from the 2 million stack. Our hand seems pretty decent. We will call. To the streets, hit some diamonds. We hit a king. Okay. I think with this king, we want to check call. We're going to check raise some for sure. Go check check seven on the turn. I think we have a good double check here. One, I think 7x is going to be in the range for checking bet and flop. Uh, and then two, we want some kings to check, and like king four is a great candidate, so we just check all here. And rivers a queen of clubs. Okay, we check. Check, check. We beat a queen. Yeah, I was going to say like a queen makes sense. And then here we have kings of the button, which is very important, so let's sweat this one. This is what dreams are made of, dude. 21 blinds, deep in a tournament, kings of the button. Our range is wide. They can reshove on our stack here. This is it, you know? Wake up with Queen Jack suited is the is the thing. Okay, they call Queen 10 6 on the flop. I think we want to go about half pot here. Um it's definitely gonna be some checkbacks, so I don't think one third is the sizing we want to choose here. I think it's gonna be half check back and then mostly bet like half pot two thirds is an option as well. Half pot I like a bit more. And the fourth. Okay. We ran really cold today, honestly, in some big spots. We played a lot of tournaments today. So many. Um, and we've got a bit of a day saver here. So we're going to see if we can get it done. We cashed for 2000 so we're down 4800 right now. But top 10 is profit, basically. Jack 9 of clubs. Let's call. Take it to the streets. Closing the action, four, five, six. I think I want to lead here. Uh, with the backdoor flusher on two overcards, I wouldn't lead like 100% of hands, right? But I think this is one that's fine. Um, check call is not great, right? Like we haven't hit it hard enough. So I like lead. And then if we ra they raise, we can fold. 10 on the turn. Um, check. Question is, do we want to try and get ace high to fold by bet check betting? Uh, but they bet the turn, and we can just fold, and that's fine. 
Jack 10 of hearts. This is a reshove hand often. Depends on where at the table, right? It's not gonna be a reshove hand against early position or against the shorter stack. Actually, no, it would be against a min raise from them. Um, against later position, it's an all in. It's just like a great reshove hand because it takes a hand like King Jack where they raise, we jam, they fold. So we actually, they fold a hand that dominates us. Whereas like it does fine against ace king and against ace queen. Uh, it does fine against hands like eight, seven, six is fives. So it doesn't make a difference between that and like ace king. So yeah, um, but if folds to us, we're just gonna limp here, limp call a raise, take it to the streets. And flop a pair of tens. A good flop. Um, check, check, jack on the turn, betting. Uh, can't be too small either, given the board texture. And betting. Let's go. Let's go, Dottie. Come on, 800,000. Big pot coming away. Ooh. Very, very oof spot here. This is any Broadway. It's a nice hope. Good luck. It's just right on the line, but this is any Broadway. This is any pair. Ace 8's doing well. We're up against King 10. We have to risk 20 blinds against Sexy Troll, which we hate. Keep it clean. Come on, let's go. Huge pot coming our way, chat. We're over a million chips, baby. Let's go. Oh, you hate having to risk it there. You just hate it. Ace four clubs. We like this hand. Uh, this should be a senior. Whether it's RDC RSN or not, the fact that they know RDC RSN means they're a senior. Like they played some poker, you know? Hmm... Pretty glad I called that three bet. <laughs> no, it's a little interesting here how we want to play this hand. They check. We just want to bet now. We have a lot of equity here. And if we hit another club, we want to be able to get all the money. If we don't hit a club on the turn, we can check back and control the size of the pot. Open to 60,000. We have ace two suited in the big blind. I think some three bet, some call. I like call here. Some check raise, some call. Uh, I'm gonna check raise small and then check the turn. Problem with just calling here is that we give them two free cards so often. We allow them to barrel with impunity. Whereas if we put in the small check raise here, we kind of shut that down. We also, with hands like queen 10, they end up like calling here and then checking back the turn. So we lose a little bit less against hands like that. So check raise small. Where this becomes a problem is if this is the strategy our opponents deploy. Uh, so they click it back. The thing is, we're getting five to one odds here. Uh, the problem is though, if we hit an ace, it's not exactly a clean out. So I'm just gonna fold. Like getting five to one, we're gonna continue with four five with our hard draws with you know 10 X with a bunch of stuff like that. But with ace deuce particularly, if we choose to check raise with that hand, when they have value hands like ace 10, uh, <laughs> right? Uh, we don't have clean outs. I think I have the coolest piece of poker software you've ever seen today. It is called Hybrid Poker brand new piece of poker learning software where you test your score against myself, against Daniel Negreanu, against Bill Perkins, and see how you score against the three of us, as well as other poker players as well. But Hybrid Poker learns about you, the player, which is, this is really cool. As Hybrid Poker gets to know you, it's going to tell you what to work on. There's a link to the IQ test down below. Try it for free. I think you'll like it. So try it out. Ladder up, 1660 cashed, let's go. Beautiful stuff, chat, beautiful stuff as we pick up nines, a gorgeous hand. God, it's really frustrating with no small blinds as to whether we want a three bet call or what against this opponent, but they just fold. And then we raise and don't fold, right? If they jam, we call. If they three bet, I think we call. We probably don't four bet, although you can. But they don't, which is fine. Uh, flop is king 10-5. Check. Seems 
pretty straightforward. We have a middle strength hand. We don't want to uh, inflate the size of the pot. We're not protecting against enough to make betting make sense. We check. Jack in the turn. Not the best turn for us. Um, we're losing to a ton of stuff. We beat a few things, but we kind of need to hope it gets to showdown, like a 5x or whatever, right? Uh, hopefully queen x checks queen in the end. So we have a straight. Our opponent can have an ace, but um, they don't always. Uh, I don't know, call, I guess, right? Like, I guess call with the bottom straight. Uh, our hand looks like ace x, but when they think about it, like how much ace x do we really check back on flop and turn? Yeah, I think we have to call, but I, I just hate this spot, obviously, but I think we have to call. It's just so dumb. Oh, so annoying. We need no more dumb spots. Don't put us in any dumb spots. Make them clear. Poker gods, please. Ready to take it? Good stuff. 894. Queen 10. Very reasonable hand. But we need it to fold to us. If one of these opponents raise, it kind of takes the power out of it. I used to find that I would be, whoa, this is a, such a small three bet. It's a 138. I think the answer is call here. I think four bet's bad. Uh, but yeah, this is too small to fold any two cards. Continue with any two. Call, ace and two. It's gonna be tough here. Uh, they check, we check. We have to consider that misclick is, a, is possible here as well. Just based on the sizing and based on them checking this ace high board. Aces is also possible, but then a bunch of other stuff too, right? I'm going to bet now. Expect to get value from one street from kings, queens, and jacks. Buy myself a river. If they check jam, then we just fold. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Ugh. Such a bad river. All right. That makes no sense. I have no idea what. I don't know why they played that hand that way. It doesn't make any sense to me. We raise. I think probably call, right? Like, I'm going to get a C-bet almost 100% of the time with 400,000 in the middle. So I think I'll just call here. Should be fine. Just don't have jacks. It would be great. Have kings is our preference here. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. My goodness. 1.2 million. 1.2 million. That was a little dangerous on the turn. <laughs> yeah, we need to raise twos. We're deep enough against these two opponents where it has some value, I would say. Um, but, you know, it's not a great hand. There's not enough ICM with 45 left, right? If there's, like, 20 left, I'm not going to open this hand on these stacks. I think it would be a bad idea. Um, pretty simple small bet here. Get them to fold a lot of hands with equity. Check raise to 148. I do think we want to continue here. We're getting about four to one. I think folding a pair is over folding. I don't know if they're up with the meta. Uh, if they are, they're going to check the turn. And I'm going to bet 100,000 here. Take it. Best of luck with it, man. Open up Ace-3 suited here. The yearly shareholder meeting. I have to win some bands here pretty soon. Get a call on the big blind, King-10-4. Uh, I think C-bet here with Ace-3. I would probably check back with like Ace-9, Ace-8. But I think Ace-3, Ace-2, Ace-5 are good C-bets. So we're going to do that. Uh, doesn't have to be very big here. 47,000 I think is fine. Barrel on a 5. Barrel on a deuce. It's a 5. Nice. What sizing? Mm, do we want to go 190 or 200? 200, man, 200. Not a great river. Um, it completes some draws. We don't block any of the draws. Uh, queen Jack gets there, which is a hand we're going to bluff like this, right? So we have a value bet there with Queen Jack. But we also have Ace Jack uh, and Ace Queen that can do this. They lead block. We fold for sure. Uh, ooh. 
for seven. Uh, I don't know on this hand, actually. I really don't know if I should be jamming here or not. I think I'm going to. I'm usually just like a tip, just a tad too tight here. So I'm going to assume that this is a jam with 5-8 suited. Uh, you know, I think 8-6 suited clearly is. Um, there's fold equity is the main point. But I'm not 100% sure. With 42 left as well, there's some ICM, so that's going to work in our favor, right? Like they don't really want to call off, especially on like a money bubble. But we're getting tanked, which means they probably, they have a calling hand, so. It's king four. Okay, 44%, not too bad. Just a little five or eight here. 14%. Yeah. Uh, too bad. Uh, I think it is a gem, obviously. That's why I did it, but it's close for sure. Uh, to gem or to raise with tens? I think raise. I don't think there's that much jamming uh, on 15 blinds here in the cutoff. It's quite a strong hand as well. If we're going to jam a pair, it's going to be like sevens, seven sixes. I think with tens, we need to induce here. Especially we have like quite an aggressive image, you know? So there's 42 left. Pay jump is at 41, so we're going to take our time here. Let's break. Uh, let's break time. We're going to flip. There's an all-in on the other table, same time. Tens against ace-queen. We get the pay jump. Keep it clean. That's the end. Uh, I'm bummed. What are you going to do? Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. That's it for this time. Until next time, we'll see you later. Goodbye.